Oh, this one's like the longest one. Oh my god, I swear it is. But you know what? After this one, traffic is over. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. I thought he street. said something else. What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Woo woo. Bad guys. Woo hoo. Let's go. You know what? We have like so many outfits. Let's try a different one. Let's go the outsider. No. Let's get the golden boy. I guarantee See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Look at you, Bantam with the boy. Brings a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in at Central. <laughs> Woo! So that means we don't have to be hardworking. We don't have to be educated. And straight arrow, that means I feel like you can be crooked as shit. So, what we have here are some dumbass cops, is what it sounds like to me. Look at that, look at that. Look at these amazing, dirty ass car we have here. Uh, I remember, I think. I think we just gotta go up here. Can we just be easier? No, it's not. Never mind. Shut up! Let's go. Take the right. I got here first. I have the right of way. Boom. I don't need any of you guys' help. Look at that. Stop just ahead. Oh, really? I don't even think I asked for your help, Patowski. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister. Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Okay, on that. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. What does that even mean, she cuts rough? This ain't the red carpet. Uh, if you're looking for the corner, he's down by the crash site. No, I saw him. I just don't... I thought you were going to tell me how to get down there. But I can guess. I can guess. What up, policeman? This this outfit does not look good in him. I, I swear it doesn't. I, do we have better ones? We, we have to have better ones here. Nope, nope. This is going to be the best one we got. Just got to deal with it. The other ones are for like different things. It's weird. Yo, what up? I'm not gonna call you detective. You wanna see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. Whoa, are you gonna tell me the panties isn't the best part? Oh, it's ripped. Oh shit, it's raped. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Look at this. Stop messing around with it, Phelps. It's messed up. Dear Jessica, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. Always forgiven. Oh, shit. She's a long way from home. I'm not done reading. Always forgiven. He has, he has a hot temper, and he can do, he can be very proud. Or loud. No, it's proud. But you, but you need still, but you are still his little girl. And he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. He, he probably did. You're a good, decent girl. 
15 and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be, damn, she's only 15? I wanted to be be just like Kalia Bao and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would never have been happy in that life. You don't even know that. You realize it one day too. I'm sure Aunt Junie's looking after you, but I can't help worrying, worrying. Yeah, you know what you, your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can be blind, blind you to what right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Uh, Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly's brightest bottom, just like you were at her age. They need their big sisters to look out for them. Dear, dear Jessica, please come back. I'm very frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, Camille Hamilt Hamilton. Oh my god, like Alexander Hamilton? What else we got? Look at that. U68 MTL. That's amazing. That's amazing, Phelps. It's amazing how we do this. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Yeah, what up, dude? Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? <laughs> no. He went from... I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Okay. Whoa! Whoa, can TV control? Did I say you can do that? I don't think I gave you permission. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Dude, it looks fake, doesn't it? How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? Find anything interesting? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Well, let's go. Let's go ask the... That one famous trick, apparently. I think Phelps knew her. Let's go ask her. See, see, see what's up. Let's see what's up with her. Like, how the hell are you gonna almost not be dead? Huh? Answer the question, chick. Answer the question. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. You? I don't like. Keep out of this. <laughs> June don't like you. All right, June. Were you drugged? We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? Oh, you claimed it already. That wow. That slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. What the hell you look like you remember? You said that rat. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about She just this. touching me? My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. How about the girl next to you? Well, the girl that was next to you. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Yeah, her ripped underwear. Come on. You were just in that car. 
Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. That sounds disgusting. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. That's a lie too. No, it's not. Well, it's doubt. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? What's up with you and Mark Bishop, my girl? I hear you say Mark Bishop a lot. I wonder why. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Sound like bullshit to me again. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Almost dead. Mr. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics. And you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Yep, let's go shake that kid. Let's go shake that raped victim. Come on. I want to see. Excuse me, officer. I want to see. You want to see what? Why would you want to see? Oh, there's not even a dead body, so I can't even say that. Let's go. Let's go to the receiving hospital. K-11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. All right, thank you for... Okay, Roger. En route. Thank you for telling me where I was going to go. Oh. Wow, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. That was really nice, you know? Like, I wanted it really... I really wanted that to be there so it can stop me. And take just a little bit longer. That's what I want to do. I just want to just keep on driving on this amazing vehicles that Eleanor has given us. Shut up! It's my turn to go. Okay, ain't anybody coming, so I keep on going down. There you go. I made it before anything happened. Bad happened, at least. There's a door right there. What's the difference between this door and that door? Door's locked. Never mind. That's the difference. Let's go to this one. Excuse me, old lady. You're not even old. Hello. Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, detective. Is that coming in? You can't hold me here. No. I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? No, we don't. Hello, doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor, detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swaps seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. Where does this door go? This door goes nowhere important. Wow, this is like a big hospital. Like, look at this. I'm just gonna walk around like, ah. Oh. NVM, never mind. We are too far ahead of myself. I am too far ahead of myself. 
Boom, just keep on opening every door. What up, girl? What's your name? Yo, what up, man? Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. Do not administrate it. Further services without express. I don't even know. How do you know it says... Oh, it says evidence of criminal abuse. How do you know someone has been criminally abused? Are you talking about, like, the face and shit? Or, like, do we have something? Like, do we know something? Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. So that incident you just had, like, a while back, you want to tell me what's up or what? Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Look at that. I didn't even ask you about that, girl. I asked you about the crash. That's how we know. You're a horrible liar. God, about 15, I was a good liar. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. You literally, you said. So what about that crash yesterday? He's like, yeah, that big crash, yeah, nothing happened to me. Like, what the f- Like, you're really gonna lie about that. We found your underwear and your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I- I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. Please, you tell him. You tell him. I mean, her. My bad. You tell her the law. So what about your parents? What up with them? We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Hope is like, did, did this girl really just tell me that? You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective. Why would I lie to you? Because you don't want to tell us the truth? Come on. Letter. Letter from mother. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. So, uh, how do you know Bishop, man? How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Whoa. I was not paying attention. But I, I, I don't know. What's the story with oh, Bishop? I guess it's a guess. Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Uh, what about that abuse, you know? I don't really know how to say that. But you've been abused. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. That's bullshit. Look me in the eye. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just
Just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? The doctor said that I have to rest. Mystic Tales. The Evasion of Utopia. That's what you should read, Jessica. Mystic Tales. I heard it's a very, very interesting book. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Let's go. Let's follow the bit. There she goes. Come on. Really? Let me, dude, come on. You came out right as she, like, came out. That was, like, the most easy, ob obvious thing I ever saw, you know? Like, oh, shit. But, like, I saw her. You were so obvious. You were, like, yeah, right there. As you, as she came out. Yeah, let's go for, 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 for Nixon. Definitely up to something. To build a better America. Build a better America. We most vote for Nixon. Is John F. Kennedy here, or is he dead? He no, let me see. I'm trying to remember. Speedy recovery. I think, I think John F. Kennedy. No, John F. Kennedy is still not president. No, too no. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. Yeah, if Nixon is going, then that means John F. Kennedy is going. And that means John F. Kennedy is winning. Whoa! Whoa! Let's back that up. Nah! God damn it! No! Let me hit her. See, I'm too busy talking about John F. Kennedy. Ain't nobody care. Ain't nobody here care about no John F. Kennedy. They're like, most of us weren't even born. Well, AG4N97 cares. Let's so, go skip this. We don't even need it. Let's get it, because I'm with it. Bit it. Lit it. Gotta get it, with it, knit it. Sit it. Bit it. Go bit Whoa, blue thing. Whoa, she turned when it turned red. It's against the law. We should just put the sirens on. There you go. It's beat. Ballard is definitely up to something. Thank you. Thank you, Potowski. Thank you for telling me the obvious. Oh, uh -huh. Let's go. Let me drive real slow. All right, let's go. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm just parking. Made a remarkably speedy recovery. Yeah, we get it. She, she, she had a speedy recovery. I don't blame her. She wanted to leave. She even said, "I don't need the goddamn thing." She said she don't need the thing, but the control never said anything. Trader, move season. Oh, it's movie. 99 cents? Wow, that's, that's not even, that's nothing. Get in there and see what she's up to. Yes. Look unsuspicious as possible. Food wasn't great, but you're nice. Yo, dude, get off the phone. She's trying to get in it. Excuse me. The phone is ready for you. Oh, 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 she's looking. Who gets on the phone like that? Just go on the phone. I'm looking suspicious. Yup, yeah. Just here looking at a newspaper. No! I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it! Whoa! You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. Look at that, look at that, leaving together. I'm gonna be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Did you get the film? Sure, I got the film. I'm everywhere. Oh, no, I'm back to me reading. Yep, just reading. Hopefully she don't look my way. Uh, she left. 
Let's go. Yep, don't look suspicious when I just come straight out. Yeah, I heard that. I heard everything you said. Let's go. They about to beat on Mark Bishop. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. She made a call, my man. She called me to tell me, you know what? Just turn off your Sounds PS4. Like Mark Bishop has a I'll say PS4. Turn off your I've Xbox. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, really? Shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he would. You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. Oh, really? I had no idea. Thank you for reminding me of that. Take the next left. If you had any sense, there you go, please. Kind of calf his wife in the first place, or you've done the job properly. The calf will break a fellow's legs just for looking at his brother. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she what was doped out of her time and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th. Is it because I'm taking forever? Is that what's happening here? 11K, code 3. All other units, code 2. KGPL clear. Code 3 means put on the siren. Let's go. Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. I think once I got there before they got there. I think it only happened like once. I think we ended up still fighting. Oh my god, they're gonna he's gonna die. It's almost whoever's getting his ass beat's gonna die in there. Let's look at the map. Uh oh, I'm almost there already. Let's go! Yellow light means go! Yellow light means go! I'm already in, I'm already in there, I'm up, I'm on this. 